got these rinsed out as best we could this one's pretty clean that one is as clean as we can get it um, you saw I used a jigsaw cut out the hole I cut it wider than I did for the other one if I do that one again or if I adjust that one I'll probably open the door more this door is wider so typically these supports were like here but you can put them anywhere along so I made a wider door like this and then I moved the supports so the supports are on the edges of the door here so that they can't break it off like that it'll just give it a little bit more strength we'll tip it over they'll have a place to, to lay so we're gonna take these two do the same thing to that one that we did to this one and take these two over to the new pig pen and then uh, I've got a fence panel someplace that we're gonna put across the top of them so that we have an area enclosed in between them and that will hopefully be enough um, space for them uh, and I'll probably put a couple cinder blocks on each side so it doesn't blow off and then we got to take the water down. We got to fill up the water. Um, I think, so the bulkheads are made for a flat surface. So like if you're going to put them on here, you could fill this up and you could put, you know, three water, uh, hog nipples, four hog nipples along the side here. You put three easy and they would tighten down really tightly, really nicely because this is a flat surface. That is not a flat surface, that's a round surface. So the gasket can only do so much. There's a very, very slight leak on two of them. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna have to be filling that up every single day anyway. If we lose a half an inch of water a day, I'm not gonna worry about it. So that's what we're gonna do. Say hi. Hi. Um, so we need to get this stuff moved over there. Um, Jacob and Josh already took a 55 gallon drum over there that had a, um, a lid on it, a watertight gasket on it. Um, so we can just take food over there every other day, not every day. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So let's go get it done. charged my um, DJI action cam enough so it ran out of battery so I put three two by fours here screwed down into them um, and then I'm putting one in the back so that'll give a little bit of rigidity to this a little bit of strength it'll hopefully give it a little bit more weight I'm gonna put cinder blocks on each corner once we get the back one screwed in um, I forgot and had Josh only bring three inch screws and obviously with just one two by four in the back these will be too long so, um, weighting it down, so they will have, 
that shelter right there. They'll have this whole space in between. They'll have this shelter. And then they'll have, this is the calf shelter that we made for Hope. So they'll have that. I'm probably gonna put some T posts around this so that the pigs can't push it around because I don't want them pushing it into the electric wire and shorting that out. Um, I'm also thinking I might go, instead of going 16 or 32 by 32, two panels square to start, I think I might go three panels that way, which would be 48 feet by 32 feet, um, giving them a little bit more room to get used to that fence. That's the way I can keep them in here, keep them in that area a little bit longer. And that would essentially give us four layers of fence. It would give us a layer of electric fence, then the hog panels or cattle panels, then the field fence that we put, or then the electric fence inside the field fence, and then the field fence. So electric, hog panels, electric, field fence. Four layers of fence. Because I really don't want to be chasing hogs around. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Um, I told Jacob just to leave eight panels down here. I'm going to need to bring two more down and probably some more T-posts and stuff like that, but we'll get it figured out. And I think that's going to make the most sense. So that's what we're going to try to do. I charged the camera and while I did that, oh, we worked. I couldn't wait for you guys. Sorry, we had to get this done. So we put posts around this so they can't move it. Front, back, sideways. We put some one post in the front, two posts in the back of each of these. So these are not going anywhere, no matter how hard they push. So they've got that one to go into, they've got under here to go to, they've got that one to go to. They, they should have plenty of space to get out of the sun, um, to get out of the wind, the rain, should be good. So we've added the goat panel. So we had four goat panels, which are these smaller squared ones. Um, and I'm using the cattle panels along, mostly along here, because there's already fence behind them. This, there's not a fence behind, so I wanted the smaller panels so they had a more visual barrier. So we gotta tie these on, on the bottom, so that the panels stay on the posts. And then we're gonna put the fiberglass electric posts on inside and run an electric along here. So what I'll do is when we first get them, I'm gonna run another jumper cable from the, um, the fence charger into here. So this will be charged and that will be charged so that, actually I could probably just jump it from over there. That's probably what I'll do. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, we need to go in for dinner. So we got most of it done. We need to tie it off, run the electric, or, um, run the fence post, all that, or run the fiberglass fence post so we can run the electric wire. We've got the water over here. The boys brought the feeder over there. They've got four bags of feed in it, not two like I said earlier. So we only have to bring um, feed down every fourth day. That being said, I'm hungry. We're going up for dinner. I'll see you guys later. Okay, this time I just forgot to bring my um, camera down with me. So I'm using my phone again. So we've got the panels all tied up. So we've got hog panel, or I'm sorry, cattle panel, cattle panel, goat, 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 cattle panel, cattle panel, cattle panel. Um, so it's approximately 48 feet long by 32 feet wide. You can see it's probably, I don't know, a third or less. Uh, maybe it's a quarter of the, the entire thing. Um, so we've got the wire done. We tested it. It runs 6,000 or 7,000 volts. The only problem that I just realized is that when we come to, t um, to put the hogs in, right, we bring it in, we're going to have to take off these handles for this electric that goes over there and these handles for this electric that goes there. So there won't be a circuit. So what I think I'm gonna do tomorrow is quickly, I'll cut these wires off here and loop them so there will be a loop down to here. So from here up to here, it'll just be one big loop. Do the same thing on the inside and then make kind of a pigtail from the red to there. But I think that will give me a loop around that will work if not i can jumper it again from here to there to make a circuit so that every the electricity goes where it's supposed to i'm just my brain is not working i think it'll work but i'll test it tomorrow i don't have time tonight i need to get over to jason's house and pick up his truck and trailer so walking back up the house oh just so you see i just used a a coated wire here jumpered it from oh is your guy still there 
yeah, jumpered it from the line here. You guys can see that into the inside. It's whatever. I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you.